Hey everyone, got another uh, trailer construction update video. I know it's been a while and the trailer is quote unquote done, but it's it's never really going to be done. Let's be honest. I'm always going to be making some changes here and there. Uh, so just a few things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, first of all, some actual real construction. I haven't done any, much of that in a while. Most of the stuff I, I've done has been wiring changes, but in this case, I actually built some drawers. So I added four drawers, so there's one there, one up front here, one back here in the uh, PTZ booth, and then another one in the uh, replay booth, which I'll show you here in a second. But the other thing I wanted to mention uh, before I show you that is that I picked up a, another audio mixer. So. Uh, those who follow the channel know that I got a Yamaha TF3 for, it's going to be hard to see, yeah, I got a TF3 for the trailer, and I've really liked it, I mean it's got a couple of limitations, um, particularly with signal routing, but a lot of that can be overcome with Dante, which is really the main reason I got it in the first place, um, but one of the problems is that if I'm hired to do audio and video for an event, um, I've tried doing it by pulling the TF3 out of the trailer and then bringing that inside, inside the venue. Uh, it doesn't really work that well. That, that thing takes quite a while to connect and disconnect. Uh, there are 24 inputs, 16 outputs uh, for audio, and then, of course, you've got Ethernet and Dante and USB. Um, quite a few connections on there. So it takes a little while, and then... Pulling it in and out of the, the audio booth there actually puts quite a bit of wear and tear on it. So I've been trying to figure out a solution for a while. And ultimately what I decided to do was actually get another Yamaha TF. And so I picked up the TF1. So it's baby, it's baby brother. Um, move the iPad out of the way there so you can get a better look at it. So they're very, very, very similar. Uh, the main differences between them, obviously this has fewer faders, so it has... Uh, 16 plus 1 instead of 24 plus 1 and then it has fewer audio analog inputs on the back so the TF3 has 24 analog inputs this one has 16 uh, the other small little I difference is that the TF3 and then it's 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 bigger brother the TF5 actually have uh, 40 channels of mixing um, plus the stereo and effects and whatnot but a 40 analog input uh, 40 inputs that it can use. Um, so even though there's only 24 connections on the back, it can actually handle more channels than that. The TF1 is also can also handle more channels as well. It can handle 32, so eight fewer channels. However, the TF3 and the TF5, those last eight channels, 33 through 40, um, have limited processing on them. So they only have, uh, like for the EQ, it only has high and low shelf, uh, they don't have compressors. Um, so there's some limitations there, so which those channels are not necessarily super usable. Whereas on, on all of them, the one, three, and five, the first 32 channels all have full processing. And so even though this is a smaller format mixer, it actually has almost all the same capabilities as the TF3. Um, of course, I also got the Dante card for it, which makes it even more useful. The cool thing about Dante with this with this, this kind of a setup is that I can have um, audio coming into this board inside the venue and uh, then that goes that becomes available on, on on the Dante network for the TF3 and the trailer and vice versa. So any inputs that are actually running to the TF3 here in the trailer are also available. Uh, additionally, I also have one of their, it's called a TO1608D. It's a stage box. It has 16 inputs and eight outputs. And so I can put that anywhere. And then I also have some, some devices which are called AVIOs from Audinate, which give you Dante audio uh, interface. So I've got a two channel input, uh, interface and then a two channel output and then also a USB. That USB one's really cool because I just plug it into a laptop and then the laptop audio is then available to any of my Dante devices anywhere. So it's pretty cool. Um, speaking of Dante, I picked up this little guy off of Amazon. It's 
from a company called Ben and Fellows. It's Dante, not Dante Audio Interface. It actually has four inputs, four outputs. Um, I will be doing a review of that on, on the channel here, but I'm still trying to get the proper setup software from the manufacturer. They are, they're not exactly great about communication. And if either way, I'm gonna do a review. If they end up not getting me the software, the device is still usable, but you can't control the preamp level. So it only takes a line level signal and you can't adjust the level. So I'm really hoping I can get that software so I can switch it between line and mic and be able to set the preamp level. But uh, anyway, um, so, so there's that, that's gonna be coming at some point. Uh, I'm gonna give the manufacturer another couple of weeks to, to get that software to me. And if they don't, I'm just gonna head and review it and that'll be a big knock against it. But uh, it does work, I have tested it and I, I have been able to get audio in and out of it. That's gonna go here in the trailer connected to the intercom system primarily as well as time code for the mixer. So that way I can send time code over Dante to inside of a venue. Just make that available on one of the Dante output channels. So um, anyway, so yes, um, the construction, the, don the, dra the drawers are basically more or less done. I'm still gonna put something in there to help hold pencils and pens and whatnot a little bit better. And then I'll, I'll buy some drawer organizers. So I'm not gonna try and take the time to create those. But this really does dramatically neaten up things here in the trailer. Uh, I've been able to take quite a, quite a bit of stuff off the top of the shelves, or off the top of the desks, and stick those inside the drawers. So that angled one was kind of a beast to, to uh, mount. Constructing it wasn't too bad, but the mounting was, was a real pain. So anyway, there you go, there, guys. Um, just kind of a little update for what I've been up to. Um, and a few other little things, you know, I did some tweaks on the server, the computer server here in the trailer, and I'm always making other little changes, you know, rerouting uh, audio and video lines and whatnot, so. So there's constant improvements here and there. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, be sure and leave those in the comments and I'll try to do my best to answer. So thanks everyone for watching and have a fantastic day.